If you're wanting to give your login screens this extra polish of revealing and hiding a password, then A, you're a rock star at Bubble to take that extra step, and B, you're gonna learn how here in this video. So let's jump into our Bubble dashboard where you're gonna see in a few short minutes just how to set this up. So what I have here is a group that is aligned to parent. I'm actually gonna tear all this down and uh, just go ahead and delete this out. So we'll start from scratch. Delete out the little plugin elements and I'll just note that you wanna do this on both the password and confirmation. You wanna set these up as separate. This video is just gonna show you how to get one of them going because then you just duplicate it over to the other one, simple as that. So what you'll wanna start with here is this reveal and hide password plugin. So just, uh, I'll show off just where you'll find it, what it looks like. So reveal and hide password, this one. And then let's go over and in our design area, first off, search for our reveal under here and then drop it onto the page. And once it's on the page, then it's gonna be accessible. So next up, we're gonna get a material icon in, onto the page here. And we're gonna grab an eye for that. And then I like this color for for starters, and then I'm just gonna grab both of these and group them into an align to parent container group. And then I'll have to do a little bit of uh, work here to get this exactly how I want it. And let's see, for this one, we don't want a minimum height. And in the world of your UI, you'll want to um, work on anything that is necessary to get it looking exactly how you want it to look. Um, I'm just sticking with fixed with here. It's not gonna be super responsive uh, simply because this page is not meant to uh, work over in a mobile app at this time. So um, work on the UI is the, is the point there. So let's see, let's uh, stick with maybe about that size. And get it looking nice and balanced. So then what we want to do in addition to dropping this plugin on here is you'll also need to put password one or password, I'm gonna say one for this one and then I'll go ahead and end up putting you know two for the confirmation and I'll drop another one of these on here. Um, but that's outside the scope of for now. Uh, but so what we've got here with this password one, you'll just wanna make sure that that is over on this input and uh, that your input is, you know, it'll come out of the box if you're using bubbles out of the box. One as this content format of password, that's the one where when you're typing in it, you know, it's covering up the letters and we're adding this nice polish so that it can be seen. So password one there, password one here. If you do not see this ID attribute in your uh, settings panel here, what you wanna do is you wanna go over settings, general, and scroll down to this and select that. Okay. Um, so next up, we're gonna have something happen when this is clicked. And when this is clicked, we're gonna to toggle a reveal. And then again, you'll wanna use this ID here as well. Cool, so then one last setup piece, and then that's it uh, on this We'll call this the uh, reveal eye toggle. And we'll give it a conditional that when the reveal A's toggle is visible, then we're gonna change the icon color. Meaning uh, it's been, well, we'll, we'll see. <laughs> Meaning the password has been revealed. Ah, yes. And one thing you wanna make sure to do if you are using this exact same setup is that for the layout here, we wanna make this fix width and then that will drop it over to the side where we expect it to be. Cool, so now for this password, just gonna type in some stuff, and then you can see that this thing, uh, the icon changes color. So that's it. Uh, you would do the exact same thing with a different password reveal because note that uh, this ID attribute is, uh, what's the word, it's unique, so you'll wanna have it for here as well. Uh, you, you would do this for the confirmation one here, and you would just, uh, add password to add another one of these. And that's how you do that. If you liked or enjoyed this video, please give it a like, subscribe to the channel for more tips on how to build stuff in Bubble.